Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashum, Yahushar Bashum, Rakh Gadash, the ones of the apostles, the ones of the elders, Egory Milson, Ruel, and Tazis Truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preaching this word in truth and sincerity to what the four corners of earth, Tabernacle David, hopeful elect in the speckle bird. I want to say shalom. So this lesson is given through inspiration to the Spirit, from me uh, watching the Apostles' videos earlier today. And you can say this is like a uh, continuation, a second part of the last video that I did. And pretty much, you know, the mindset of what you should be in when you're in this walk, especially in times that we're in. You know, making your calling election sure, not playing around with the Lord, all right? Taking heed, you know, if you happen to get rebuked, take heed to that rebuke and uh, do better, all right? Because we're coming in, into the time of sifting. The Lord is going to sift you out. You know, if I'm not mistaken, Apostle Tahara had said earlier in uh, one of his videos earlier today, you know, they may be a little older, but they still on fire, man. They still doing the work. They still out there on highways and byways, you know. You know, jokingly, hold on one second, jokingly uh, said that um, <laughs> they're going to uh, stop going out there on the highways, byways when it's cold outside. It's getting too cold outside. <laughs> and, uh, you know, from his, you know, from what he said that uh, his men, his bro uh, the brothers were like, nah, we, we ain't going to do that. Looking at him crazy. And, and that's pretty much the spirit. That you should be in. Apostle Paul said, in season, out of season. That's what we're supposed to do. In season, out of season. Yeah, it's cold as hell. Yeah, it sucks. Really, really, it doesn't suck, man. You know, the water y'all about Shemiel Shah for this wisdom, not his understanding. Because he, he does not bestow this wisdom unto everybody else. You know, so do not take advantage of this uh, wisdom. You know, as I got this word right here, as uh, Apostle Gabar had brought it out, Apostle uh, Tahar had brought it out as well, the Koli. You know, a few definitions of it, because the Lord is about to delete a lot of you niggas, man. You know, a lot of y'all may have came into this truth, may have been on fire at one point, and then you fizzle out. You know, that's the Lord sifting you out. You know, dudes have come into this truth, you know. It may have, oh, man, I learned that I'm an Israelite. You know, it's it's a great blessing. And then, you know, they take advantage of this truth. That's that's part of the Lord's tip in the mouth, man. So where, what we have right here, the colon, getting this definition again. You know, it says a reduction of a wild animal population by selective slaughter. That's what the Lord going to do is selective slaughter. Okay, those that do not have that spiritual mark as you read. Y'all right to Zion, get it in Ezekiel 9. That the wall, that spiritual mark, all right, as you read in Revelation 14, the spiritual mark as well. All right, pretty much that mark of exemption. Everybody else is going to be deleted. Let's see. Um, the action of sinning an inferior or surplus farm animal to be slaughtered. All right. Jakes that are not in this truth, that's not in this walk. It's not calling upon the true name of the Lord. It's not making that call and election sure. They are in a inferior state. Matter of fact, surplus. Didn't the Lord say that we are as the sands of the sea? So that's a lot of Jakes that's going to be taken out, that's going to be deleted very, very soon. As he selected from a large quantity, attained from a variety of sources. All right, reduce the population of a wild animal by selective slaughter. So, yeah, a great <laughs> reduction of Jake's is going to happen. A lot of them is going to be sent to the shadow realm. <laughs> All right, to the spiritual realm. <laughs> All right, let's get this in Ezekiel 9 and verse 4. And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shah said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, 
and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You see, and that's the elect. And the two thirds, they're, they're pretty much going with the flow or thinking that this is going to be the revised Roman Empire that they're going to take over. No, this place has a judgment set forth. And if you don't want to take heed, well, a great calling is going to happen. All right. So you go into that word mark is the wall. You know, it's a spiritual mark, a mark of exemption. OK, while pretty much the two thirds, they're going to take that uh, phys physical mark. OK, and they're pretty much showing who their God is. All right. Their God is Esau Edom. That's the as Esau Edom. That's pretty much the Lord on the left hand side through the means of Esau Edom. Branding. All right. As you would brand the animal to show who it, who it belongs to as 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 the Lord branding. The two thirds showing 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 them that they belong to this man Esau Edom. That's their God. All right. And we want to show. Through our actions, through our worship, making our calling election sure that we belong to the Lord so we can get the heck up out of here. Because as we read on down, it's not going to be pretty, man. All right. So lock it. Let me make sure it's acting a little silly. All right. Anyways, y'all right to job. We'll, we'll get that. Um, verse five. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go. Ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. All right, because the Lord is not a respecter of a person. Slay utterly old and young. That calling, man. Old and young is going to get it. Give me one second. Make sure I get this down here. All right, so Lockie, it was acting uh, silly. <laughs> it wouldn't let me... Uh, wouldn't let me scroll down, but uh, getting back to it. Yeah, the Lord is not a respecter of persons, man. As we read on, it says, uh, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And began at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. So a great calling is going to happen, a great deletion. The Lord is going to send his sword, Esau, Edom. And the and the angels, and also the man of the Lord. All right, I, I love I love the quote that uh, Apostle Dahar has said. We gonna be jumping over the Edomites to get to you niggas, because <laughs> we got all the time in the world to get on you Edomites, man. It's you niggas that are supposed to be righteous, but y'all wicked as hell. So judgment is going to uh, be sent forth unto them. Let's see. Uh, Let's see. Verse 7. And he said unto them, Defile the house, and fill the courts with the slain, go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I was left. And I fell upon my face, cried, and said, I, Yahweh, power, will thou destroy all the residue of Israel in the pouring out of the fury upon Jerusalem? You know, that's what it seemed like, man. And and imagine the two thirds, two thirds, man. They they outnumber the elect, man. So it's going to seem, man. And the Lord said that we are as a sins of the sea. So that's a lot of fury that the Lord has issued out. That's a lot of judgment. Shapat, that's a lot of judgment that the Lord has issued out. All right. Going back to the word calling, man. <laughs> All right. Reduce the population, all right, by selective slaughter, all right? Those that did not have that spiritual mark, that's what the Lord did. Or when King David numbered the house of Israel, or tried to at least, the Lord sent that angel. And, you know, these things are going to happen again because this man Esau Edom, he wanted to, uh, you know, keep, keep a census, <laughs> number everybody. So guess what's going to happen to this man? Lord, going Lord is going to send these deaf angels to take these people out. 
All right. And, and a great calling is going to happen unto the Edomites. But there's going to be a. Uh, um, it's not going to take out all of them because we're going to need them for slavery to build up our kingdom. <laughs> all right. Let's see. And it came to pass while they were uh, slacky. I read that verse nine. Then said he unto me, the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. You see that is exceedingly great. That's why they're going to be deleted. And the land is full of blood and the city is full of perverseness. For they said the Lord. Have forsaken the earth, and the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah see of not. All right, it's full of perverseness. Got these jakes out here, man. Matter of fact, I was out out to eat the other day, you know, enjoying myself. <laughs> and then you know, you look over to the other table, and down Jake with another man. If you, if you catch my drift, for mo. All right, showing you. You know, you, <laughs> this ain't our rest, man. You try to try to enjoy yourself in this kingdom when you look over Jake over there in wickedness, man, taking taking his man out to eat. <laughs> you know, hey, that's why I'm, these these Jakes got it got to get judgment, man. It's wicked as hell. You know, you had that uh, comedy special with uh, Dave Chappelle, and he's always getting on the uh, Transformers. <laughs> And uh, these Transformers are getting butt hurt, man. You know, and a lot of these Transformers are Jake's. So the house of Israel is filled with perverseness. And they and they going to be deleted. You you know, you think you got your feelings hurt now. When until you feel the wrath of the Lord. As for me also, my eyes shall not spare. Neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. You see that? Lord ain't going to have no pity. So that's why it's imperative to make foolproof of thy ministry, man. All right? Make make this year to make foolproof of thy ministry. Don't don't play don't leave anything in the tank, man. You know, speaking to myself first and foremost as well. Don't leave anything in the tank. You don't want Jacob's trouble to pop off and, and you feel as though you could have done more, man. You know, go at a good pace, but make sure you're doing this work, man. You know? And behold, the man clothed with linen, which have the inkhorn by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded. All right, the angel. And it's nothing new under the sun. We're going to see the, send these deaf angels. All right? And the only ones that's going to have that protection is that the wall, that spiritual mark, okay? Ephesians 4 and 11, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Why? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of a Mashiach. All right? And that's why, you know, you know, we look forward to apostles and elders and brothers on down doing these lessons and they pretty much build us up in the spirit or we'll see a lesson and it puts fear in, uh, upon us and make sure that we're making our call in election. Sure. Like one of the brothers or, or dudes has to say that, uh, that the Lord judged that he cut up, <laughs> that the Lord cut him up. You know, he got ran over by a couple cars or apostle Gobar, uh, Slaggy, apostle Tahar was going into that prophet that disobeyed the Lord. And the Lord had a lion tear him up. Didn't even eat him. He just tore him up. And pretty much the ass was right there as a witness as well. You know? <laughs> so, you know, you, you want to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. Or, or the Lord going to send these deaf angels to tear you up. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It's verse 13. Till we... All come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of Power unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Mashiach, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. You see, this is the time, man. You, you should not be tossed to and fro. All right. And those that are coming into this walk or just now coming into this walk. Take heed unto this unto this word, man. 
No, there's a lot of bug outs that's out there teaching. There's a lot of bug out doctrine. So take heed to this true doctrine. All right. You know, we, we may look back like, man, I was bugged the hell out before I came into this truth. And that's and that's supposed to uh, uh, keep you on the straight, narrow path, because you understand if you deviate from the straight, and narrow path, you you not only going to go back to that old man, you're going to be worse. As the scriptures speak of, you know, you're going to have more and more demons that's going to jump on you. Then you had in the in the first stead, you know. Me and the brothers in in our camp, we we know of a nigga <laughs> that was like that. All right, he he, he got a second chance. He joined the camp for a second time. You know, Lord have mercy upon him. You know, allow him to join the camp. And then you know, you look up, right back to his old ways. So I'm like, man, I got got to kick you out. Can't ha can't have this spirit around the brothers, man. <laughs> And you look up the dudes effeminate or hanging out with effeminate niggas. <laughs> you know, it, 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 he he threw. All right. You don't want to be like that, man. The scriptures speak of, you know, that servant knowing the will of the Lord and did not do it. Or you read in Matthew 25, the talents and you hid your talents. Well, you're going to be beaten with many stripes. That's, that's the worst lot of the two thirds. You knowing this truth, you not you not uh making foolproof of thy ministry, the Lord gonna judge you for that. Let's see, uh toss to and fro and carry it about with every wind of doctrine by the sleet of men, cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. You know, that's why we do these lessons, man. For the elect to attain this true wisdom and you know, if the Lord's dealing with you, you're able to discern these spirits, discern who has a, who has the truth, who's speaking the hundred percent truth, and who is not. But speaking the truth in love, and may grow up in Him in all things, which is the head, even the Mashiach. Let's get this right here, Ephesians five and verse fifteen. Seeing then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You know, uh, just side note. Apostle uh, Tahar was going into earlier today, you know, a lot of the elect is going to get beamed up here in America. You know, the main focus is here in America, preaching his word out of America, not to say that 144,000 in the elect is not scattered abroad, but the main deliverance is going to be here in Babylon the Great, all right? This place is going to be destroyed. And also to pay attention is over there in the Euphrates, right? The Valley of Yahweh Shapat, right? The Lord's judgment. The Lord is going to be judge. Uh, the Lord is gathering the nations over there, and he's and he's going to judge them, okay? Right? And hey, we just got to keep on preaching this word, doing this work, man. All right. Make sure you ain't walking as fools. Make sure you ain't doing what the two thirds are doing. Make sure that you fear the Lord. Why? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We seeing that, man. The days are evil. And, and Shabbat, judgment, is going to be issued forth. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Be not drunk with wine. We're in, in the excess, but be filled with the spirit, filled with the spirit, man. Understanding what the Lord requires of you. Make sure that you are doing what you're supposed to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's only so many ways we can say it. Doing what you're supposed to do, man. Proverbs 13 and verse 20. All right. I got a couple uh, wisdom scriptures right here. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, all right? So the water for the counsel of the Lord, the wise counsel of the Lord, you you, you become a, a wise man, all right? But as we read right here, but a company of fools shall be destroyed. You know, that's why you got to watch who you have company with. That's why, you know, if you're a brother in the camp or a head of the camp, 
You know, you see your brother going off. Rebuke him. You know, if he don't take rebuke, as we'll get y'all run this out, have it down here. Hey, that, that dude got to be, that dude got to be kicked out. And, and the Lord going to deal with him, man. All right. Because you don't want that spirit to spread. That spirit can spread. All right. That's a damn demon, man. So you, a hey, just like a cancer, you got you to cut that out, man. You got to kick it out. Proverbs 29 to verse 27. An unjust man is abomination to the just. And he that is upright is abomination to the wicked. You know, there's a distinction. You know, so the elect is going to have a certain spirit upon them that the rest of the world is going to hate. And guess what? We hate you niggas too. <laughs> That's why the Lord going to delete you. All right? They look at us crazy. We look at you crazy. Guess what? The Lord looking at you crazy. And the Lord got some spirits waiting, waiting to take you out. Proverbs 29 verse 25. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whosoever put his trust in the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, shall be safe. You see, we put our trust, our full, our full stock into the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai. But these people, they fear man. That's why they took the Jews. And that's why they're going to take the sea hill. All right, and that's going to lead them, as you read in the scriptures, you know, they're going to have a, a cancer from the sea hip. <laughs> All right. But we put our trust in the Lord. And, you know, if Jacob's trouble pops off this year or early next year, however the Lord sets it up, man. You know, we're going to have protection. Let's see, I'm, I'm going to jump down. Proverbs 13 and verse 18. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuse instruction. You see that? You refuse the instruction. You know, here it is. Apostles and elders and brothers on down doing videos day by day. Pretty much almost every day. All these videos out here for you to attain to this wisdom and you refuse it. Poverty and shame is going to be set upon you. But he that regardeth reproof shall be honored. You see, you know, when we heard this word, you know, we got reproof or we may, you know, some brothers may have saw the, the brothers out there preaching the word and they got re reproof. And pretty much saved them out from the fire. And so what happens when you get re reproved, man? If you're a wise man, you're going to take heed unto that instruction. And the Lord going to build you up. Going to start drinking the milk and eventually the meat. And the Lord going to give you honor. And you start te uh, teaching teaching other men. All right. But that honor is only going to be given unto the elect first and foremost. All right. The elect. Two thirds going to be out here playing around, playing games. When the wicked are multiplied. Uh, it's like in Proverbs 29 and verse 16. When the wicked are multiplied. Transgressions increase. You see that? That's under the reign and rule of Esau. You know, matter of fact, when you go into the book of Maccabees, man, it said evils were increased when this man came into power. All right, evils were increased. Just roughly paraphrasing the scripture. You know, that's why you see these damn Edomites, man. I saw it the other day as well. Confusion. Uh, uh, had the father. Wearing a damn dress, looking like a woman, and and the woman, uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's just confusion, you know. And that's that's a type of spirit that this man pushes upon the world. You know, he gets a, a, a his <laughs> his feeling so hurt when he gets rebuked, but and, and you had the people follow after him, like, oh man, you can't say nothing against these people. And so what you have in this kingdom, you have a whole army of damn demons, man. Since it's a whole army, you know, going back to this word calling, you know, it's it's a select from a large quantity, attained from a variety of sources to reduce the population by selective slaughter. So, you know, those are in that spirit. The Lord has a great slaughter for him, man. I had a great, great slaughter. It's coming unto these people. 
but the righteous shall see their fall. You see that? That's that's what we want, man. We're going to see the fall of our enemies, but that's only going to happen if you walk in this straight and narrow path. Proverbs 13 and verse 21, evil pursue sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Right. And that's what we want, man. All right. And we're, we're about to see the judgment, Shabbat, judgment be sent unto our enemies, man. All right. So, Yahweh right desire this edifying lesson. I want to give all praises going on the two. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Kirk, Dash, and Wa'a, Baba, Shalom.